Yeah, that just takes your breath away seeing this and we're talking late June, early July. We're in a September pattern due to that warm water. So that's why this has been a historic storm as far as strength and power in this morning. Yeah, there's our, our storm just full, chock full of energy, just an angry red ball of convection with category five winds of 165 miles per hour. So the question is, where is it going next? Well, we are watching Jamaica very closely because we do have the hurricane warning in effect that could start to impact them with those hurricane force winds as early as Tuesday night, uh, late tonight into tomorrow. And then the Cayman Islands uh, in the next area to watch and then eventually the Yucatan Peninsula. But if there is good news with the system, it will encounter some wind shear. So I think it's peaking in intensity this morning and then we'll slowly see it wind down a bit. But yeah, when I say wind down, this is still a, a major and a dangerous uh, hurricane as it heads toward Jamaica as a category three winds of 120 miles per hour on Wednesday afternoon and then even a lot left by the time it gets to the Yucatan Peninsula uh, with winds of at least 90 miles per hour before the trend shows it to try to weaken before it lifts a little farther north. But again, yeah, we take it a day at a time with these systems. And in fact, as we look at the wind shear, it will increase ahead of this monstrous hurricane today. So again, I think it has already peaked this morning and then we'll start to see it slowly come down a bit. Of course, we'll continue to keep you informed, prepared and connected. All right, thanks, Mike.